Welcome to a Blender 3D wine glass tutorial by Firebird854. In this lesson, I will be going over how to make this wine glass model with impressive speed and precision utilizing two modifiers, the screw modifier and solidify modifier. Feel free to watch a few minutes and pause to catch up. Okay, so I'm going to go on and first just to delete this scene. Let's start over. New file. Okay, we have a basic cube here. Let's get that out of the way. Shift A. Shift A brings up a panel where we can select a plane, and we'll just have that plane sitting in the middle. Now hit 1 on your number pad key, or just move to the front view, and then hit 5 to go into orthographic, and then hit Z to go into transparency. Then hit A to deselect everything. Go over to vertices select mode. In the edit mode options, hit tab to do that, or the scroll menu over here. Okay, and then hit A to deselect everything. And just go ahead and press C to get this little selecty circle and it goes bigger and smaller by scrolling the mouse wheel. And you can select those vertices right there. Press X and then just delete those vertices. And we're just going to select this guy right there. Press X and delete that vertice as well. So then we're just going to take this little vertice left, press Shift S, and then we are going to move selection to cursor because the cursor is already centered in the middle. Just makes life a lot easier. And then press 1 on your number pad to move back into front view. And then press E to extrude, and then X, so we can extrude along the X axis. I'm just going to move around this cursor. We can see the vertices right there. And as I move it over here, I'm just going to eh, let's pop it about 3 Blender units in. And then we're go going to start extruding this over into just a fine curve. You can use bizarre curves if you really feel like it, or EP curves. But for now, we're just going to stay with straight polygonal modeling. So as we move up, we're just going to tighten this and really go for a wine glass shape. What we have to imagine is we're going to be revolving this. That's what screw does. And I'll get into that in just a moment. And feel free to pause this at any time and just make it look as best as you want. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to move that up once more. That about does it for me. So now we're just going to press A, which deselects uh, what I selected before, and then press it again to select all. Okay, then we're going to move over here to, if you can see this, it's a, it looks like a little ratchet. It's, um, oh, a little wrench, sorry. It's the mod it brings up the modifier panel. And then over here we will find screw, and I like to do that one first. Okay, and so then it really applies the screw, and we can see this again if we press Z. And then we're like, what's this? What's going on? This doesn't look right. That's because the normals are kind of flipped up, not doing so well. So they added this handy calculate order option. So that doesn't work on curves, by the way. So if you decide to do it like that, nah, not quite going to work. That's why I stuck with polygonal modeling. Anyways, though, so now we have this nice solidified object. However, you might notice it's kind of infinitely thin and still a little blocky. So we're going to step this over a little farther. Now, if you step it over in one area, make sure you step it over in the render steps. Otherwise, you won't see the same thing when you render. Okay, so now it looks, it, it looks a little better. But still, I mean, it's paper thin. In fact, it's infinitely thin. So now, we're going to have some fun with the solidifier modifier. Let's see, solidify, solidify. Okay, now we want to move down to thickness. It's right here. We're just going to pull this in, and you can see the edges grow. We can go out. Or we can go in. In this case, I'm going to move it in. That's, uh, that's what I feel, whatever you want to do to make it feel better. It's up to you. But in this case, I'm going to go in, which applies a negative value. You don't want to make it too thick. I mean, yes, it, it does give kind of a cool effect if you want a goblet or so for some medieval animation. Anyways, though, I'm just going to move it just enough so that we know there's some geometry, but it's still realistic glass. Okay. So it has kind of a large base, but in any case, I like it. Next, I'm going to go back to object mode by pressing tab. So this is the, no the mode that we started out in. I'll select the object by right-clicking, and then I will press, well, let's press tab again. I'm sorry, let's uh, stay in object mode here. Press apply, and then press apply, and we've applied both modifiers to the object. That's not an undoable option, so make sure you have everything set how you want it to before you do that. Okay, now let's tab back into this mode. We're in edit mode again. And then press W to bring up the specials menu. And then we're going to subdivide smooth, subdivide smooth, subdivide smooth as many times as you feel comfortable. You get a nice uh, 
well, smoothness to it. We're going to move back over here. We're going to smooth this out. And it's really looking nice. It's coming together, looking like a uh, nice glass here. Except we really need to add some material to give it that transparency. So now we're going to move down. Let's uh, hit transparency, hit mirror, and we're going to go to ray trace. I like ray trace better. It does kind of a better job for me. And we're going to move alpha all the way to zero. And you might notice up here that it disappears except for the specular. That's exactly what we want. So now we head over to mirror, which we checked right there. And then up the reflectivity to about 50%. You don't need to type in the value exactly. Just scroll it on in there. And in both fields, we're going to up the depth to 5. So, depth is up to 5. And there we go. You can see up here. It looks really nice. So, now before we really start rendering this, let's just set up a little scene. That's what I like to do. Oh. So, press Shift A to bring up this menu. There's your cube. Scroll it out. Press 0 on the number pad, and you're flying to the camera. And then move this up to right about under that base. And then we're just going to select this object, move it down until it's into the viewport of the camera. There we go. And let's maybe select onto this lamp. I selected in the outlier, and then I grabbed it down on the z-axis. We're just going to set that about there. Anyways, now let's press F12 and see how it turns out. And we have something that's just like the beginning model. I'm Firewood854 and that is a quick lesson on how to make a wine glass in Blender.